Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines in the City of Night's Helm. And I'm gonna start this over again because I Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines in the little town of Night's Helm. And last episode, we had built this magnificent landmark, the World Trade Center. Uh, it's a beautiful asset that somebody put together uh, on the workshop. My apologies. I will, in the next episode, I actually will mention the name of the person that put it together. Uh, I just don't have it available to me right now. But the person that did this uh, just did an amazing job on it. And I just really love the asset, to be honest. So it ends up in almost every single city that I build. So uh, I just really do think uh, it, it sets off. It pops that skyline quite literally in any city. Uh, it is strictly just a tourist uh, or a, uh, what would you call them? Um, a, uh, uh, a unique building. So it doesn't provide any jobs, it doesn't do anything of that nature, it's strictly just a uh, unique building uh, for tourists. Uh, thank goodness I don't have to try and get all the people into that building to uh, employ them, because that would be a lot of people. The rest of the city, of course, is humming along just fine. We're at 35,000 sims. About to hit 36,000. We're doing very well on money. In fact, I meant a couple episodes ago to take a look at things like my budget. Um, and it occurred to me, yeah, I really should bump this back up. Because I left it way down there and never came back. And the same thing with my schools. I should bump those up to 100%. So let's go ahead and do that. I hope uh, I don't end up putting myself into the red by doing this, but... And we'll get the trash services up to 100% as well. There we go. Uh, taxes, we'll leave them at 9 9 and 9 for the time being. Um, we'll see how that impacts our bottom line here. So in a couple weeks or so, we'll come back and take a look at that 31,000 and see what it looks like. Yeah, you can see it's going down just a bit there. Uh, and then let's also just take a look at our overall uh, city policies. Um... There's really nothing that I would like to set here. Actually, park maintenance boost, 80 shims, mullions per park maintenance service building. I don't know if I have any park maintenance service buildings out at the moment. Do I? I don't. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'll put one of those down. Because uh, we are getting to the point where we have quite a few parks in the city. And we're going to just put it over here in our industrial area. We'll see if that actually makes an impact or not. We also have... I haven't named this yet. Um, I really should give it a name, shouldn't I? Uh, what would be a good... I'm trying to think of something from... Actually, you know what? From Brickstown, the Crescent. Okay, there we go. Has a name. Okay, um, and then over here, I hope it looks like by setting this to just fill, that seemed to take care of our issue with these getting raw materials. Um, so I have petroleum. I would like to get another industry going because I would like to get some of the unique factories going as well. Um, because they'll require stuff from multiple uh, locations in order for them to actually do something. Right now we just have the petroleum. Um, I would like to get either ore, uh, agriculture, forest, one of those three. Uh, in there. I might uh, go a little cheaty with a mod and paint an area. Um, 
with the raw resource, but we'll see how that actually goes. Um, I do have a lot more oil I can pick up down here. I can get some agriculture over here, but uh, I have to unlock some squares to get to the rest of that there too. So, Alright, so we're also trying to reach 44,000 sims so that we can get uh, a couple more items here as you can see. The floating cafe, nuclear power plant, cargo hub, and the ocean thermal energy conversion plant. Um, those aren't going to really be too useful for me because I really don't have a lot of industry going on right now. But now that I have built this, I was kind of saving this area for that. Now that I have it built, I can actually finish out this area. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to finish this key along the river's edge here. That just kind of ended underneath this bridge right there. And uh, it doesn't want to because of the bridge. There we go. And let's see if we can get this connected, making it look mostly seamless. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Um, over here for this. Yeah, that looks okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. And then the last thing is I do want to get this road to actually go under if I can. Can I actually get it to go? It looks like I can. It's going to be a really sharp or a really steep drop to get down there, but it looks like I can. And then come back up. We'll make that a little less severe. And bring that up. There we go. And then I'll have this... Let's see if I can, again, just more or less follow... Um, let's see if I can go a little bit further here. No. Am I doing this... Uh, how do I make it follow that? I guess I... Just really can't, can I? What if I go ridiculously far out? Nope, still doesn't do it. All right, well, we'll just... There we go, that seems to be a little bit closer. Basically, I just want to be along this uh, key here. So let's see if I can get that road guideline. Of course I can't get it, but we'll just, re we'll just connect right to that. Okay. Um, Probably should have did a little smoothing out beforehand, but we'll just do this, and there we go. And we'll just take this down a little bit, too. Oop, that's not a node. There we go. Actually, it's better to probably, using move it, same height, set it to the same height as that. There we go. All this fiddling... Same height as that. There we go. Okay. And then... Actually, it doesn't... does not seem to make a lot of sense to have this be so high. Ugh. Click. Click. There we go. Okay. Um, you know, I could futz with this for an hour and a half and not be happy with it, probably. So... There, that's good enough. Okay. That allows traffic to get from my tourist area over to here. Over that freeway, or under the freeway, as it were. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and finish this out. I'm going to make this into kind of an office park over here. Um, I'm curious, can I upgrade the roads that were part of this mod? No, I cannot. Okay. Or part of that asset, I mean. And I cannot. So we're going to come out. Um, I'll just come out on the other side of Tower 7 there. 
and there's, what is that, one, two, three, four, five between? Oh, let's repeat that, so one, two, three, four, five. I do not want to connect to that, because that is the freeway. But what I do want to do... I'll come up to this. There. And there. Exaggerate that just a bit. Go beyond. Okay. Good. Let's make certain we have steam down there. This is where all my uh, whatchamacalls used to be. Um, my pumps. Just go ahead and do that. There. Okay. And so that we don't forget, let's do it now. We'll get some services in. So we'll get police. Where's the nearest police station? That road. Where is that road going to go? Um, I don't know where that road's gonna go. I might, I might have it connect up over here. So in that case, what I'll do is I'll probably put the police station. Actually, we'll put a big one here. I'll put a police headquarters, and we'll put a fire headquarters. There's not gonna be any residential over here, so we don't need. Uh schools. I am going to put a hospital. And we'll just go ahead and put that right... No, nope, it won't fit. I want to keep the shoreline clear, so we will put it here. Okay. That should do. Excellent. Next, I'm going to... Uh... What do I want to do? I guess go ahead and do a zoning. Actually, no. We're also going to take advantage. Oh, I already zoned that. Evergreen Hills. Well, that's not a name that I want from our game of the past, is it? No. So we're going to go. Oh, yeah, that's right. This was definitely going to be named. That's my autosave ends. There we go. Steel Canyon. There we go. And Steel Canyon on the policies is going to have... Got to move something. There we go. City planning. I thought it was in here. Oh, nope. It's not in this. Haha. -ha. It is here. Boom. So we're going to make this office specialization. Even though there's... a uh, homes over here. The homes, <coughs> excuse me, the homes will not be impacted by that. Let's go ahead and get some offices in. And the thing about uh, these offices are that they don't require a lot of workers. The IT cluster, I should say. They do not require a lot of workers. And I don't want too many office uh, offices over here because, unfortunately, they're very repetitive. Um, they look really nice, but there's really they're just very repetitive. Unfortunately, I need to get some more assets to make it a little bit more unique. So let that build up a little bit. Um, I am also going to just move power. Actually, before I move power, I'm going to give them a nice big park. We will put that park along this road, which I need to build out. So we will build it to, I'm 
in my head I'm just trying to envision where this would go best. Um, actually, we'll go right up to here. Okay. And then this road from here, unfortunately that little, oh, what is that, a power plant? In, incinerator. We're going to move you over just a touch. Oh, but we can't because there's a firehouse right there. Okay. Then we're going to move you to here. Boom. Okay. Bring out to here. Do I get a road guideline? I don't. There we go. Okay. Excellent. That's already building up pretty big. Yeah, these are... Look at that. There's like... They're all the same. <laughs> but we're trying to get some vertical height here. Uh, lend some credit to the neighborhood's name, Steel Canyon. So I'm probably even going to have high-rise uh, uh, residential over here too at some point. And this road... Um, hmm. I'm going to downgrade it, unfortunately. There. I did mess up this neighborhood, didn't I? Because I put it too close to this road. Oh well. We're going to put some high density commercial through here. Oops. Um, along here, I'm going to want to put a couple other possible landmarks. Um, another one that I just always seems to look good near it is the Pan Am building. Again, it's another custom asset, but I'm not going to put that down now. But we'll leave this space for a lot of those. Um, and of course, one other asset that I always usually have, being from the Motor City myself. One Detroit Center. So I would like to have that somewhere down here. In fact, oh, look at that. It would be beautiful right there, wouldn't it? You know what? We're just going to go ahead. Oh, there. That's my Christmas gift to me. Right there. Yay! Okay. Anyhow. So we're going to come back to that. Let's go look at the rest of the city because we have a lot of demand for residential. So even though Steel Canyon, had this residential neighborhood, was just built, I'm beginning to think I might put some uh, high-density residential over here already. Just to complement the fact that there's the high-density, uh, or these really tall buildings over here. Or will be over there, I should say. So let's go ahead, and we're going to... Unfortunately, all these people that just moved in... Sorry! Sorry, we made a mistake. We weren't supposed to be moving in. Nope. Let's go ahead. Uh, paint, or rather, draw in there. And there. Oops, there. Get some gr vertical growth in that area. Actually, I think I am also going to... Oh, there already is a park right there. Okay. Excellent. Okay. We're going to leave this for, as I said earlier, some other stuff. How's Paladin Park looking? Need to fill out this area a little bit and this area. Um, it is very wide open. I'm thinking I might put, uh, you know, once, once we get into spring, how's that? We're going to leave Paladin Park for the winter. When we get to the spring and the snow melts, that's when we're going to do some massive landscaping on Paladin Park. So, all right, um... 
So, Steel Canyon doing fairly good over here. Uh, this area doing pretty good. This traffic seems to have sorted itself out mostly. Um, we may still have to provide another entrance because right now there is only the two, the one over here and this one. And as we saw, this being this close did cause issues on our roundabout. I may actually have this go over the freeway and connect over to here. Um, just to provide more access to this area. We're doing really good on money, so I would like to actually put down something else that's a little more touristy. I don't remember the name of the building, so I have, there it is right there, that one. The Spectra HQ. I don't know, again, who the uh, person was that created it. Um, it is a little bit bigger than I remember. Just a tad bigger. And I don't even know if I'll be able to fit it in here. Um, I probably could if I cheated with Road Anarchy. Um, you know what, that may, let's, let's leave that for the time being. That might be a little bit too big. Um, let's see if I can find something a little bit less obtrusive. Mm, nope. That's really tall. Yeah, that's... No, that's not too bad, but I can't get a good... What does it look like when it's... Don't know. Observation tower. Oh, yeah. Oh, this would be really good over here. Yeah. This would be really good over here. Just kind of looking over everything else. Um, on the inside of this curve, if we road anarchy, we can take care of that. If I went on the inside of that curve, or do I want it over here? Or do I want it here? So many choices! We'll put it right here, right next to this uh, parking garage. How's that? Let me zoom right in here. I just want to make certain. Yeah. There we go. Okay. That fits. That's pretty good. I like that. I like the fact that the, the restaurant or whatever it is, the observation deck, actually rotates. Look at that. Pretty neat, huh? Okay. So, um, we've got that going, we've done, added up to Steel Canyon, uh, what does our employment number look like? We are at 3%, excellent, that means that we're not going to have any labor shortages in the near future. We've got a good demand of residential, people are moving in over here to where I just rezoned to high density. Um, where else could I continue to go? I will need another generic industry uh, area pretty soon. In fact, I do plan on Argosy eventually being replaced um, and getting the industrial out of there and putting it onto dedicated freeway at some point. Um, and it might move down here to where that uh, oil was. Even though I already have oil, it might move down here anyhow. So, um, High Hills. I never renamed that. I've got to come up with another name for that one, don't I? Because that was a generic, a generic uh, name. So, um, that's what just came to mind. Gimri Ridge. I think that was... Steel Canyon? I think it was in Steel Canyon. Anyhow. Uh, oh, and Linden Heights. I need a name for that, don't I? 
Uh, I think I'm out of Atlas Park, and all these are Atlas Park over here. Uh, so let's just go to uh, out of Founders Falls, uh, Blackstone Hills. There we go. Okay. So, uh, I'm not, I don't really want to plop down yet another landmark. I would like to fill this out. I don't know if I want to put commercial there. I will put a little bit, just to give the workers somewhere to go to lunch, do a little shopping maybe. So I'll do, we'll do right here next to one Detroit Center, we'll do a little bit of high density commercial. Oh, and I, oh, I'll tell you, I think I'll finish out the episode now that I have this huge office park over here, it might be a good idea to get some mass transit over there. Um, buses. So let's see if I can get some buses moving around. And then we're going to get a metro line out there as well. So let's go ahead and start with a bus stop here. Oh, wrong side of the road. There. Here. Um... There, there, we'll take them, I, oh, you know what I gotta do, hang on, I really should finish this road out, shouldn't I? So let's get that connected there, and... I am going to, I hope I don't find that I can't fit anything in there, but that should be large enough to continue putting more stuff in. Let's go back here, grab this, okay, I'm going to come down uh, to right here, go up, stop there, stop here, stop here. Wow, it's going to be really twisty-turvy. Topsy-turvy, whatever you want to call it. Okay, there. Did I have a... Well, there's going to be a stop there now. Mm -hmm. Um, there. There. And finish that line out. There we go. Okay, and then finally, I do want to get a metro station over here. And I think it would be kind of good to just follow this road here. Um, and that commercial area that I just built, well, you know what, we'll back up a little bit. We'll go right here. Which does mean I need to pause because I am going to do some changes uh, there and then add a stop there again add a stop there okay here, oh, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to end up. Well, let's see what happens. Sometimes when you delete that end of a stop, you get some weird stuff going on. There we go. So now, what? Can I just grab this again? Drag it. There we go. Remove that stop. Okay. Add. Add. Okay. And then connect these with the underground connections. And shoot, I just... Did I have Road Anarchy enabled that entire time? I really hope I didn't. Okay. 
I really hope I didn't have anarchy enabled. So go from here. 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 Back here. And complete line. There we go. So now we can go get over to this area fairly well. I may put... Well, maybe not. I may or may not put another metro line this way. I go a little overboard with metro lines in my cities. But I do try to keep them, as you can see, a grid. Um, so I do have the one coming up the middle. But anyhow. Right, well, there we are. We've got Steel Canyon going. We've uh, added a little bit to our tourist district. And uh, bringing in some more peeps. I forgot what we started the episode at. I think we only brought in about a thousand people. I think it was about 36,000 when we started. Um, so, got to work on getting some more people into the city. But anyhow, uh, we're going to continue building the city in the next episode. So, I really appreciate the fact that you watch the episodes. If you like this, please go ahead and click that like button. I uh, can also hit the subscribe button and uh, see my videos as they come out. I plan to publish every Monday, Wednesday, Friday uh, a new episode. During the holidays, things might slow down a little bit. And especially uh, through February, things may slow down a little bit just because I am going to be uh, out of town for a little while. So thanks again, and I hope you're all having a great time. You have great holidays. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care and bye.